All right, guys, it's a beautiful Saturday day, a little cloud cover, but also uh, got a little breeze feeling good. You can see we're out here on the golf course again. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been called back out here to help with a little bit of armadillo work. So I uh, got a call. Y'all know it's been a while since I've been on an armadillo doing armadillo job. So come back in here and I want to show you just a little bit of how the digging goes on. How you doing? I'm going to show you a little bit. As you can see right here, you got a little scratch and a lot, a lot of times you have to learn about is uh you'll have coons and whatnot which i've been to this piece of property before so you can see uh you got scratching and whatnot so usually what we do is we'll set a few for uh coon possum skunk or anything like that and also uh we'll set for the armadillo as well as you can see right here uh they have been digging a lot up in there so uh she kind of blocked it off right there trying to keep them from going this is a spot that i had caught before and I set traps here. So what I'm gonna do is come up here, set a few armadillo traps and whatnot, and see in the next couple of days, see if we can't catch something to save the flower garden. And all they're doing is they're coming in here and eating the grubs and worms and whatnot, and uh, just causing hazard. And you can see it's kind of a beautiful little flower bed, flower garden right here. So last thing you want is something coming in here, uh, pulling up, pulling up all that, digging it up. And uh, of course, it takes a lot, of, a lot of money, a lot of effort to keep things as nice as this. So, anyway, we're back here at Old Waverly Golf Course, and we'll be showing you stuff. So, let me get a few traps set up, and I'll kind of show you uh, what I did and and, and uh, place the traps and whatnot, and what I use. All right, so we got one. <clears throat> as you can kind of see, this is the kind of box I've used. Y'all may have seen, some of y'all seen this before. And uh, what it is, they go in there and they hit that trigger right there. And I'll show you real quick. What they'll do is they come in there, and they'll nudge around, hit the trigger and the doors will fall on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, pull that back up, set it. What it is is armadillos before have been in there and uh, once they get caught, they kind of urinate, sent, sent that up and it's kind of like territorial. They're coming in and trying to figure out who's done urinated, secreted and all that. Look at a mosquito. So anyway, they're kind of going there. I put that one over here just for the simple fact that uh, it is some scratching and whatnot, some turning. We had a big uh, rain uh, last night, <coughs> yesterday, so it kind of, the stuff you see, normally you would see the tornado light look. Uh, it's kind of gone from the beat down of the rain. And like I said, you'll have coons and possums, skunks, stuff like that to scratch around too. But I also put one over here next to uh, the little travel corridor to, to, to where they were digging up, kind of going up under there. And also a lot of people asking about cage traps all the time. This is how you set it up for cage traps. You see how that's kind of funneled in between the uh, bushes there? So when he goes that way, he'll just kind of run right into it and then he'll hit the plate that's in the back of that and uh, it'll drop the trap on him. So, and you'll catch him that way. That's how you funnel them in. And when you try to want to, if you get box traps like this and they don't come already scented, so what you want to do is funnel them in the same way. And then once you catch one, that box is scented, that, that urine secretion, all that soaks into the wood. And uh, you can also do the same thing. Uh, you can put a piece of cardboard down inside uh, that trap as well and then uh, that piece of cardboard or wood, piece of plywood or whatever you want to put in there will be uh, like that as well. So you just have to keep it out of the weather as much as you can because the rain will come in on the top unless you put you know, a piece of plywood or something on top. But anyway, that's kind of the deal. So let's try to save this flower garden, flower bed. Oh, I say save it. Save it. I done stepped on one. Uh -oh. But anyway, let's go. Head on to the next spot and catch hogs, feed hogs, something like that. We'll see y'all in a day or so. All right, guys, we are uh, got a call from a landowner over here at the Old Waverly Golf Course, so we're about to pull in here and go check things out. It's my lunch time, so I just said, well, you know what, I'll run on out here really quick and try to get it checked out. She says something is in the box, and uh, hopefully we caught that old armadillo, or at least one of those armadillos. Uh, as you can see, we're pulling in right here. Oh, you can't really see. Anyway, we're pulling in. Checked in here. Oh yeah. You know they know you. You know they know you when they just say, "Hey, come on in, y'all." <laughs> I usually I go in the other way, and uh, I had to call in with a phone, and they'd be like, "I'd be like, uh, this is the trapper," and they'd be like, "Go on in there, get them." Oh, they'll be tearing this place up. So let's roll in on over here and see what we got. Anyway, 
Try to go see what we got up here, guys. Okay, so we got one. So we actually did not catch. Actually did not catch over there where I thought we would catch out. We actually caught right here and I see dirt on top of it. So. Oh, oh yeah. There he is, guys. Little old armadillo. Old hammerhead itself. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, normally I'll take this armadillo and put him in the other box and that way he scents it up. But uh, what I'm actually going to do is take him and put him in that Duke cage trap uh, and then put this box back out. And that way I've got a fresh scented box here uh, still. And then we'll use the other box as well. So uh, just give me a minute. <sighs> It'll be rolling. But anyway, get this thing situated here shortly and uh, we'll be with you so you can see. Get a good look at that thing. I don't know if you can see it good or not. Anyway, just give me just a second, guys. So the actual plan, guys, is to get this guy into here. Uh, so we'll have to see how we can get, get him in here. Uh, let me get my back. I know I got my back to you at the moment. in there and I can take this back over there get a little little view on that so now you can see get him up here where we can see really good you see guys this is not a big armadillo but it's a small armadillo uh, and these guys will just tear up your yard they'll dig up everything especially they're just looking for grubs and everything else oh I appreciate that buddy so literally if he just would have peed uh, in that trap, it would have been a lot better. Uh, that's the scent you're looking for. So, that, so that's perfect in understanding that what you want. So when he when he urinates in that box right there, that's what keeps uh, uh, that that scent uh, just territorial. So I really needed that in the traps, but gave you a perfect understanding of actually what I'm what I'm talking about. So we'll take this dude off, deal with him, and uh, check with the landowner real quick and let him know that I got it and we're headed out. And uh, hopefully, really, we'll catch some more. And if we don't, uh, you know, we're still trying to do the best we can. Since we seem to be good here for a little bit, I'm going to end this video. It doesn't take you. I don't have to see it that I catch how many I catch or dozens I catch. I guess I can do that in a video later when it gets really hot and heavy on armadillo action. It's not a whole lot of action here, but uh, the neighbor just come down and said they had a big old coon coming up there eating the sugar water uh, for the bird feeders, uh, for the hummingbirds. So uh, I may go down there and get that coon out of there as well. Not sure yet. It may just end up way up here. I see you, Miss Judy. <laughs> I'll just finish my video, finish it out. So uh, I'm gonna go up here to talk to the landowner, the homeowner, Miss Judy, and uh, we're gonna get out of here. So y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless, and as always, Jesus loves you. Ow!